Welcome back. Joining us now is Sarah Daniels, a Vancouver-based real estate agent. Hey there, Sarah. Hey there. How are you? Well, good. And and uh, wanting to kind of follow through what happened to this a uh, couple of the week. Right. They moved from Alberta. They're uh, kind of gobsmacked. So excited. Yeah, and they're saying, my gosh, look at the price here in Vancouver. And they have to rethink it. Is, is this a common experience? It is a common experience. I find with a lot of people, they come out and they might have a budget of, say, three, 400000 And depending on what part of the country they came from, wow, that's like, that's oodles of money. And then you get to Vancouver, 400000 a 600 square foot apartment downtown if you're lucky if you're lucky and you know that's really not when people are looking to retire that's not necessarily the kind of lifestyle that they want uh, parking downstairs in your underground parking lot which you might have to pay extra for and schlepping your groceries upstairs may not be the perfect thing that you're thinking about doing when you're getting into your 50s and 60s and want to slow down a little bit and enjoy a more relaxed lifestyle and you've got kind of the wild sounds outside at night and lots of lots Sirens, of energy. Yeah. yeah, and but the thing is about uh, with that kind of price point, unfortunately, if you were in a in a major metropolitan area, yeah, you're not going to find that your grocery store is at the end of the street, and you may not ever get to know your your neighbors because, in fact, they could be renters. They could be people. There might be a high turnover on your floor in your neighborhood. And um, these are the things that you might not find really sort of uh, making it more, a more amenable uh, feeling. So the the bang for the buck, how does how does that transform when you get outside of the lower mainland? Farther that you get the out of the lower mainland and out of any urban center for that matter, the more bang you're going to get for your buck. Now that means that you're going to get more square footage for your dollar. You're also most likely going to be able to go from an attached unit like a condo or maybe a townhouse in the urban center to having maybe a nice little bungalow rancher with some land, a little thing, little area to putter and do some uh, some flower planting, all that stuff. And you're going to get to know your neighbors. I mean, those are the nice things, the nice little extra benefits. I'm just thinking fresh air and quiet. Fresh air and, uh... and quiet. Uh, I mean, for some people that can be a little bit weird at first, but uh, no, definitely fresh air, quiet. Uh, there's just so many benefits health-wise too. I mean, de-stressing when you're outside of a major urban center. So when you talk to clients who've made that move from urban to rural, what's the, what's the thing you hear that is they're most pleasantly surprised about? They, they can't believe how much more that they've got lifestyle-wise, the, the, just the, the ability to slow down. It, the day, you, you, may, you might actually not do as much in the day, but it feels like a fuller day in many ways. Because instead of jumping in the car and driving to the grocery store and looking for a parking spot, a lot of people will literally do their grocery shopping daily at the corner store. It's more of a neighborhood feel. Um, just the ability to slow down and get to know their neighbors, as, I, as we were saying before, getting out and enjoying the nature that may be around you. If there's hiking trails, you know, you don't have to drive to them if you're living in a small uh, town. They're right there, as opposed to being in an urban center where we're lucky when we live in the lower mainland in Vancouver that we do have so, so many natural resources. But still, you have to, for the most part, get in your car to get to them, and you won't find that if you're living in a smaller community. So pace changes, stress falls away. Yes. Oh, it's a nice picture. It is. When can I go? <laughs> Sarah <laughs> Daniels, thank you so much. North of 49, a guide to the rest of your life.